Turkey's government submitted a motion to Parliament on Monday to send troops to Libya. They would be supporting the government in Tripoli. The UN-backed administration has been under attack from rival forces which support the parliament in the east of the country. But the eastern forces are accusing Turkey of sending Syrian Islamist militants to fight in Libya. CGTN's Mikhail Bardavid reports from Istanbul. Turkey's parliament is expected to convene on January 2nd for a special session to discuss the potential deployment of Turkish troops in Libya to support the UN-backed Government of National Accord. Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan signed a maritime boundary agreement and security deal with the leaders of the GNA in November. On Monday, Turkish Foreign Minister Mehmet Çavuşoğlu held meetings with the main opposition Republican People's Party CHP leader Kemal Kılıçdaroğlu and with the E-Party leader Meral Akşener. Behind closed doors, Çavuşoğlu explained why the ruling government believes it is necessary to send troops. Following the meetings, while the main opposition CHP announced it is still going to vote against the motion, E Party stated it is yet undecided. We, as the foreign ministry, have submitted to the presidency the motion which is to be sent to the parliament. Also, we learned that it will be sent to the parliament today after the president signs it. The motion sent to the parliament states that the humanitarian situation in Libya is worsening due to the attacks, which also target civilians and civilian infrastructure. The clashes have created a favorable environment for terrorist organizations such as ISIL and Al-Qaeda, and that these developments, in addition to Libya, are a threat to the entire region, including Turkey. It also adds that the rival to the GNA, Khalifa Haftar's Libyan National Army, has declared Turkish companies operating in Libya, Turkish citizens residing in Libya, and Turkish-flagged ships in the Mediterranean as targets. The motion would give Turkish president the power to make decisions regarding the extent, scope and timing of the deployment of troops overseas. A simple majority is needed to pass the motion and Erdogan is confident he can get the needed votes. I'm Mikhail Bardavid for CGTN in Istanbul.